episode six of the twelve days of Christmas. Episode six of the twelve rolls of Christmas. <laughs> was shot in January on Santa Ray 1000 and, it, and this one's a 35mm film. This one I shot through one of my cannons. Either the one end? I think it was the one end. I'm pretty certain it was the one end. At the beginning of 2021 I came up with this idea that I wanted to shoot an image a day. It wasn't like a 365 project necessarily. It was more like a diary practice. I could shoot as many images as I wanted to. I didn't have to stick to just one but I was just trying to notice things about each day. This didn't last very long. This was the only role I shot in that way. <laughs> yeah. I think, admittedly, 2021 has been really busy. For me, when I've previously done Project 365s or 366s, I sort of, I, I do write it out. Once I start a project, I have to finish it. It's just one of those things. Anyway, so this, this that's what this role of film was, and that's why I wanted to include it, because it was like a goal that I'd had and I quite like that these images are me noticing a really small aspect so there's like an image in there. I was sat one day in uh, what was about to become my dark room at this point obviously it wasn't and I just noticed the way the rain on the window and because there was some sun it was then all reflecting on the wall. This is a view that I love. It's from my sofa, which I often like to sit at and look out because I love these trees. I wanted to focus on the raindrops with the trees in blur. So again, hail hitting the bonnet of my car. Crying. It's like we mentioned in the last episode. I focus on details. Focusing it's on details, very much yeah. what I like to do. And so that was what this project was about. I really like the imagery actually. Contrasting it to the other role of film, this one has more depth of you know the shadows and the lighting yeah that's something that i love about santa ray and why i became so fanatical about it i think santa ray performs best when you're window lit so inside but window lit this is one of my favorites just because i love the very white but i still think quite grainy tones of the skin and then the dark eyelashes, the tones in the hair, the very dark background. And when you're window lit, Santa Ray just does amazing things. It'll be interesting to see how it works with other skin tones. Yes, it to would. To see if you get the same kind I'm of... I'm trying to think if I've ever shot you on Santa Ray. Probably not. No, I don't think I have. The reason why this is my favourite image, or, you know, one of my favourite images, one that I'd like to hang up on the wall, is because of the, the contrast. So you've got the white of the snow, with the really, really dark shadows, and also it's quite geometric. This is certainly wool worthy. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I Not think... wool worthy. <laughs> <laughs> wool. W wool. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that if you were doing this manually, I think that would be a hard scene to meet up. It would be tricky because of the harsh light and yeah. the harsh contrast. Yeah, but the Canon 1M is so good at metering. Metering manually, would I have got the hail on the car bonnet? Probably not, because I wouldn't have wanted to stand out in the hail for that long. Whereas with the Canon 1N, I was able to run out, focus how I wanted to focus, get the shot, and get back inside. Mm. To me, this one's quite a flat one. I, this isn't one yeah, of Yeah, but this one has like some interesting leading lines. I mean, I guess it might not be obvious to start with, but you've got the, the meandering sort of puddle, I guess, on the beach. I like where the, it leads your eye. This was kind of an interesting one because I took it, this down to the beach on a really bright sunny day. So I think that one's come out quite a lot greyer mm. because we're in a brightly lit scene rather than a dark sort of side lit diffused light scene. Sure, yeah. 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 So personally, I don't think the film works as well in that context. Maybe not. Um, but I liked it. One that I would like to be printed. This is pending on if Holly can remove the defect. Oh yeah, I can remove that. This one is my favourite because of its landscape, it's quite painterly. The sea, it looks like it's been painted on. The clouds look like they've been painted on. It just all looks a bit hand-drawn. Um, so I, I really like that one, even though I'm not really a big fan of seascapes. And I think that one contradicts your opinion on the previous episode, the fact that it was very much grey toned, because I feel like that's quite a grey toned image. I don't feel like that's got contrast, uh, so and it's very grainy. I am actually drawn. It's one of the reasons why I don't like that one, is because it's quite grainy. And... No, I, I'm drawn by the contrast 
of the like the foam yeah of the crashing the, moments uh, yeah. the waves I mean that's why such. I was drawn to that scene that's another point to mention is that I was able to capture that as you say more painting because it was a really bright sunny day but the film is an ISO 1000 I was able to use a really narrow aperture so I could capture as much detail so that's why there's also cloud detail as well as the and you've got the cloud wave. movement I see yeah oh, yeah I see I would never have guessed that was taken in the bright sunshine actually yeah exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks moody and Stormy, doesn't it? Absolutely. Let's go to the dark room. <laughs> Welcome to the dark room. I knew this was going to be one of the hardest contact sheets that I was going to have to make because this particular role was shot in so many different lighting situations. Usually if you're making a contact sheet, like when you look through professional ones, like in Magnum's contact sheet books, the role of film is shot in one set of circumstances. So whether it's um, a studio situation and you've got similar lighting, or whether it's um, street photography but it's all shot in the same day at the same roughly the same time therefore when you come to make the contact sheet all of your exposures are going to be very similar and so it's easier to get an even contact sheet when it came to making the prints this was the most paper i have used in any one session so far during vlogmas and the session in which i did completely run out of paper firstly my choice of image this one took me four attempts. I was very confused because the first attempt looked pretty much there. So I just gave it a couple more seconds thinking I just want to get some of the, the darker shades to, to pop. It took me about 30 extra seconds in the end, but I really feel like it worked very well. Yet again, Eve has chosen a very difficult one. I ultimately had to bring the red filter in, which is something I haven't had to do on any of the pictures that I've made in Vlogmas so far. So we ended up at about a minute and a half exposure to get the detail that we wanted. It just took me quite a few attempts to get to something that represented what she was saying she liked about the image, but I still don't like it. It's still not my cup of tea. This was never, this was actually one of the ones I least like in that role, which just shows how different our opinions are and how art is very much subjective. And so on to one of the special mentions, which was the snow on the roof tiles. We both really loved this image. This took me quite a few attempts to get right because getting the snow to have that nice crisp white pop was actually harder than I thought. A lot of the exposures that I did came out quite muddy and so it just took me a few attempts to get to a point where I felt like the snow was popping the way I wanted it to. And so with my final two sheets of paper that I had left in the box I just wanted to try doing this negative because there was so much black and then just some Christmas lights that were on somebody's roof line that I noticed one evening while out walking. I don't like this as an image, I don't think the composition is quite right. It was good to experiment and see how that translated onto a print. The roof tiles image will be available to buy on my Etsy shop so please go and have a look around see see if you like anything because any prints that you purchase will help to fund more darkroom paper for me. Thank you. Let's have a muffin. <laughs> a muffin? You want a muffin? Blimey. No, whatever it was.